I'm sure you'll know some of the next features. Many tutors teach it as part of the core ECDL syllabus, as do I, but it's not strictly there, it's strictly um, ECDL advanced. So now you, you have used all those brilliant and wonderful skills to create a killer of a presentation. This is about how to control the presentation when you're actually delivering it. We'll be using the on-screen menu that we can get at while we're actually running the presentation. So to run the presentation in the usual way, and there's the presentation that we've got. We can use the icons, they're often hard to see at the bottom of the screen to do various things, such as moving forwards and backwards through the, the presentation, and accessing the on-screen menu. And we can also access the on-screen menu from the right mouse button. So there's various options in this uh, context menu, and we'll go down them one at a time. The first one, next, basically gives you the next event in the presentation. So I'll click it once, and we get the next animation to happen. Sometimes people think this means next slide. It doesn't, although it could be the next slide if that is the next event. So next event, and obviously apart from next event, you can go to the previous event. If you've clicked over something by mistake, you can go backwards and forwards through those events. We've then got go to slide, which allows you to jump to any specific slide in the presentation. So if you want to jump straight to slide three, there it is. Or if you want to go back to slide one, there it is. Once you've progressed through more than one slide, then the last viewed option appears, which allows you to go back to the previous slide that was viewed. So what else have we got on that context sensitive menu? That's the slides at the top. Um, all that's grayed out here, we've got custom show, which if you've got custom shows into your presentation will allow you to jump to any one of the predefined shows that you've created. Screen, now onto some interesting ones. Uh, screen allows you to black or white the screen, which basically means remove everything from the screen. That allows you to carry on giving your presentation, but with nothing on the screen. This has got the added benefit of forcing your audience to focus on you and what you are saying, rather than reading ahead of you on the screen. It can be used to good effect. So if ever you think that your audience isn't quite paying attention, it's a good idea to black or white the screen, and then you carry on giving your uh, presentation. Two seconds, because uh, there's a couple of more things on screen that I want to draw to your attention. One is speaker notes, which if you've added notes to your presentation on the notes page would appear on this screen. That could be really useful if you've forgotten what it is that you're supposed to say next. And that happens to us all. And also on screen, we've got switch programs, which allows you to get the task pane at the bottom of the screen and jump to another program and display that at the same time. Pointer options allows you to choose an ink colour and then use one of the pen options to write or draw on the screen. For example, if you want to highlight one of the bullet points, you can select the highlight tool and highlight. You can choose a different colour this time and choose a pen. You can use this to draw um, on the screen. Perhaps if you're having a meeting and you want to take some notes, um, it might be a planning meeting where you're designing some houses. Or it could be a meeting where you want to put um, uh, a note. Ooh, can't write very well there. A note. And then you could write your notes in there. Not very easy with a mouse to write, but you can do that. So that was pointer options. Once you've got some uh, writing or annotations, as they're called, onto the screen, you can erase 
which allows you to erase one step at a time or you can erase all I'll leave those on there which um, will allow me to show you something in a few minutes time once you've finished drawing what you can do is uh, want to move on through the presentation well you won't be able to unless you switch back to the arrow once you're back to the arrow you can then click on through the presentation in the normal way finally we can right click and end the show and that says do you want to keep your ink annotations if you keep them it allows you to save them as part of the presentation for future use if you discard them then they just disappear so I'll do keep just to show you and then we can see on the slide the uh, annotations that we made there are uh, nice and apparent you can move those around as well and of course if you wanted to keep those annotations for future for future use then don't forget to save your presentation so that is uh, controlling the slideshow whilst delivering your presentation using the on-screen menus